Marin season, 2024. <laughs> It's that time of year again. <laughs> My favorite time, Marin season, 2024. We're back down here at the river. We've got our six nets, our Marin drop nets. They've got to have those mesh bottoms. I think it's 80 mil by 35. Don't quote me on that, but look it up before you buy them. Um, today, we're using chicken pellets in a stocking. So what you gotta do, go to Coles, Woolies, buy a pack of stockings. When you're at the counter, they're gonna look at you funny as a guy's buying stockings, but hey, you gotta do it for the Marin. Anyway, you get your stocking, tie a knot in the end of it, chicken pellets in your stocking, like so. It's like a little ball sack. Tie it off. And that's it. You cable tie it in your net. Like so. So, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna do all six nets. It's currently 10.30. So, marin season doesn't open till 12 o'clock. So I'll be sitting here, getting ready, save my spot. Have a look around and hopefully we can catch some of these big black crabs. Woo! Alright guys, when you're looking for Marin, this is what you look for. You want big deep holes, like on the corners of the river. Big deep holes with logs in the middle. You want overgrowing grass on the edges. What's we got in there? Overhanging trees. Lots of shade. And there's just sticks and logs scattered throughout the whole river. That's perfect for those big marin. All right, guys, it's that time. 12 o'clock. <laughs> Let's get this first net out. It's time. Marin season 2024. First net in the water. All right guys, number two. Straight down here, in amongst the dead logs. Just like that. Number three, with the chicken, chicken pellets. We got number four down here. Nice little deep hole there. Only problem is it's in the sun. But hey, the sun will move soon and that'll soon be shade. So for those of you that don't know, this is my favorite spot. Right under that overhanging tree. We've always got monsters here. So hopefully no one's done the illegal and went fishing before season. So let's get this net in. Right there. <laughs> Lucky last net. Another very good spot. Bit of a pain this one. Cause you get it, gotta get it over a log and pull it over a log too. Let's give that a bit of a tester. Perfect. Alrighty, now, give him 20 minutes. I'm gonna hike back to the car, get a drink, cause it's bloody hot. Put my thongs on, boots are too hot. Um, yeah, 20 minutes, we'll start pulling. 
<laughs> Can't wait. How's that little sucker there? Right there in the open. Bloody goldfish. That's the problem with this river. Full of goldfish and carp. They bloody destroy everything. Oh, if only I had my fishing rod, I'll catch it and dispose of that little little fish. But hey, for today, you can leave, mate. All right, guys, there's a marin on this pot. I can see it. Let's get her in. No, it's a turtle. Bloody turtles. So to store these marin, you got your marin, old pillowcase. So you bang them in there, then you wet the pillowcase. Like so, that'll keep him alive for at least a couple of days. As long as the water's still cold, the marin's cold, keeps him fresh and happy. This marin can live out of water for a while. And yeah, let's try to get some more. All right, guys, this is one we got the marin out of. Hopefully, hopefully there's something on there. <laughs> Another one. Yes. Oh, I see little bastard. There we go. Let's measure him up. There we go. Boom, same size as the other one. Number two in the bag. Boom. All right guys, so I'm just gonna sit down here, give it 20 more minutes, check again. But hey, two marin so far. We've got a feed. We'll do a bit of a catch and cook later. But hopefully we could bag out. Woo. How's that guys? The first hour, we're down here at the river. Not as good as I was hoping, but we got two. Two marin. Ha ha ha. I've been waiting a year for this. So the marin. Native to WA, well the southwest region of WA. They're actually the third biggest freshwater crayfish in the world. Um, marin can get pretty big and they're definitely the most tastiest. So marin season goes from the 8th of January to the 5th of February. So that's all you've got for the whole year to catch these little suckers. Um, yeah, you need a license to catch marin. Uh, it's $50. So look that up, buy a license, get out there, catch a feed of these juicy beasts. Anyway, we're gonna wait another 10 minutes. We'll go check, uh, probably do a couple more pulls and then if we're not getting any more, we we'll go to a different spot. So, yeah, I'll see you when you pull the nets. 20 minutes is up. I'm gonna try to pull this one. I think there's something on it, I'm not sure. So, could just be a little fish, but I can't really see the net. Just give it a go. Nothing, oh well. Keep trying. All right, guys, that's it for this location. I'm pulling the last net in now. We're gonna move spots, and hopefully the next spot produces a few more marin. Have we got a couple out of this spot? Which is better than none. 
But now we've got to move on. I really, really would like to get my limit today. Do a wicked cook up. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next spot. See ya. G'day, guys. We're back. We're at the new spot. Check this out. How tropical is this? Crystal clear water. <laughs> Look at that. All right, we're not going to get anything talking. Let's get those nets in. How's this, guys? On that pot. It's a decent marron. Let's get him in. The second marron. <laughs> yes! That's too small. This one, <laughs> yes, number three, yes, we're getting somewhere. It's currently 5.28, all day for three marron. Oh, I guess that's the reality of fishing. But oh, this is a new spot here. There seems to be a lot more action. So hopefully we can get our eight. Let's get his nets back out. All right, so we've seen a Marin. I've just had to run and get my camera. There's one on this pot right here. So we'll sneak up to it. Doesn't look that big, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be just size. Let's pull her up. All right, once again, there's one on this pot. Different pot, hopefully, big one. Yes. Another size one. Yes. We're getting somewhere, finally. How's that? <laughs> oh, I'll get the measure out. Give this one a measure. All right, guys. It's currently two days later. We're back home. We've got our Marin. I've already cut these ones in half. Now, sorry about the wind. There's a bloody storm happening right now. But hey. It's not going to cook, not going to stop us from cooking up a feed. So I've got them cut up. I'll just show you how to do it, how to prep them. These marin have been in the freezer for a few hours now. So what we're going to do, just marin with garlic butter. The comments are saying they want simple, basic and easy. So that's what we're doing. So first off, get your marin. He's dead. Cut him down the middle. Start in the head. A bit gruesome, I know, but that's all right. They're dead. All the way down the middle. Cut all the way. Gotta cut this bastard in half. Like so. Next, clean it off in the water. Get all the guts and crap out of it. The poo tube. Get it all out. Got the kids swimming in the background in the pool there. They love Marin. I love Marin. Everyone loves Marin. Next, what you want to do, you got some butter, got a mug, any mug, put a big dollop of butter. Boom. Now we've got four Marin here, so need a fair bit of butter. Like that. Next, the best part, crushed garlic. Work a heap of that in there. Then, stick it in the microwave, melt it, and we're ready to cook. 
Just like that. Butter's melted with the garlic. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. Bloody windy here. Next, light this sucker up. Get that pan hot. I don't know how it's gonna go in this wind, but hey, we'll give it a go. All right, while we wait for that, check out this big donkey that I caught. How's that for a big marin? <laughs> so I'm actually drawing this one out. Draw it all out, glue it all up, paint it, and that's going in my bar. In the man cave, on the wall. Look how big that sucker is. Alrighty, we're nice and hot. Let's get them on. Oh, that sizzle already. So what you want to do is place them all down, shell side down. The shell actually works as like a like a pan. So when you put the garlic butter on, it boils in the meat. Here you go, tongues. Oh. I got the tongues. Alrighty, cook that one last. Here we go. They're cooking away, steaming away. Garlic butter, straight on the meat. On every single one. <laughs> Smells delicious. Garlic marin in a storm. So simple, so basic, so cheap. And the kids love it. <laughs> How is that? How good did I look? Smell that, smell them. Oh yeah. We're gonna be eating good today. <laughs> Alrighty, check this out. <laughs> they smell delicious. So they've been on for about probably five to eight minutes. And it's wind, it's pretty shit, but hey. So what that shell's doing, like I said before, it's working as a pot or a pan, and it's boiling that butter and garlic in the meat. So what you wanna do now, the meat's slowly turning white. You wanna flip them, just to seal that flavor into the meat. So we'll slowly flip these now. And then we'll dig in. Kids are here waiting. They can smell it from the pool. It's a problem to having so many marin in one little pan. They're all over each other. It's like a fly on a turd. Alrighty, they're all flipped. They're sealing up now. Oh, two more minutes and we're eating. How is that? Sealing up nice. Smells good. Kids are cranky waiting. <laughs> Alrighty, we're done. We're sitting here. It's lunchtime. The mariner cooked. Let's get them on the board, do a bit of B-roll, and dig in. <laughs> These look and smell delish. Alrighty. There we go. There's the marinery court out of that little creek. Let's dig in. time. Holly's going to try the first one. There you go. Jack. Oh, you want a whole lot there? Alrighty. So these aren't the biggest marin, but hey, 
<laughs> Check out that. Mm. Yes. Holly? <laughs> the most simple, easiest, cheapest way to cook a marron. And if you can get the kids to love it, that's a bigger bonus. Probably a little bit slightly overcooked, oh, but still delicious. We're gonna eat these claws later. We'll just whack them aside for now. Eat the main bit of meat. And then, dig into the claws. Oh yeah. Want some more? So from the river to the plate, what more could you ask for? There you go. All the marron, done. How do you like it? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good? Thumbs up? That's a winner. When the kids love it, that's a winner. So cheers. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next adventure. See ya. Say bye. 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 Say ya.